Okay, so today is a quick one. I just came uh, from work and I'm gonna uh, be trying Neptune. I know um, people have been asking me for it, so I have my Celestron 5 inch CD set up and I'm gonna find it with my eyepiece first. Uh, it's gonna be difficult, of course, Neptune is, is not easy. It's somewhere around Saturn at the moment, so. Best case scenario, I'm gonna find Saturn first, then I'm gonna use the camera to plate solve uh, the sky to find Neptune. Because Neptune, I tried it last year and it looks like a star, so um, it will be very challenging, I'm gonna tell you now. Um, but yeah, let's go check out the setup. Okay, I have the 5 inch Cassegrain, I'm the laptop. Well set up. I'm gonna do a sharp cap and have this really good Barlow lens from Sviboni. It's a four element Barlow lens, two times. I may have to use the three times, but I don't wanna use too much Barlow's because um, this, if, especially if this seeing is not that great. Tonight it seems good this seeing because I'm, I'm looking at the stars at the moment. They're not wobbling around and stuff, but so. May be good. I have polar aligned the mount, it's very important. I have to polar align it and I'm gonna point. I don't know if you can see it, there's Saturn somewhere there, somewhere around here. Point to Saturn and then play salt to nature and show you the live view. Here we go. Hey, I'm gonna switch gears on you a bit. I'm gonna meet Saturn again to try, then do an Neptune after. I remove the diagonal on the eyepiece. Saturn is centered at the moment. Um, first put without Barlow, so we can see. I'm tightening the screws at the moment, so we can see. Okay. Um, Saturn is in the view at the moment, but it's very, very dim. <laughs> And there it is on the screen. I'm gonna focus it and we'll show you the live view because you're not gonna see it well through the phone, so I have to take a screen capture. A uh, bit of collimation mix. Look at this live view, it's much sharper to my eye. And I know my telescope now, so if, even with the time, all right, I have the two times bar added, and I'm trying to achieve. Perfect focus by turning very, very, very slowly. As you can see, I think perfect focus is like this. Yes, I guess. Um, I'm going to use sharp cap life stacking, so you see what happens. Um, what I do is I set sharp cap to only add the 20%, best 20% 20 of the stacks. And you can calculate over how much. I'm gonna set over 400 frames, so it's it'd be, it'd be more accurate. It will take more time, but it will only add the best, the best stacks, the best uh, quality frames to the stack. As you can see, it's already got better. I collimated the telescope, it was a bit of, out of collimation, as usual. Um, the SCT loses collimation quite quite easily, unfortunately. I have a bit of... Bit of blue, blue fringing. I did the gamma and stuff like that. I'm not gonna touch the gamma. Uh, I can sharpen. You have to be very careful how to sharpen because you sharpen too much. It will look, uh, <laughs> it will look horrible. It's tempting to sharpen too much, I know. 
and the, the noise the, the, the noise in guy like and sharp cut but stacking gets worse seems to work good seems to work better than Registex. I don't know maybe it's just me you're not gonna get better than this with a five inch five inches you're pretty pretty limited to what you can do obviously um I set it to capture 3000 something like 3000 frames but I don't think I'm, not, I'm gonna go that much because then the planet will rotate um, with Saturn I believe it's about it's about uh, three three minutes I think I'm not sure if three minutes or five minutes I can go maximum but it's not much like Jupiter Increase saturation a bit. Decrease the blue because I have a bit of blue fringing. Just green a bit. Gum, I'm not gonna touch it. It's very fine adjustment as you can see. And yeah, I think I think that looks good for a five inch. I'm gonna save it. You can take multiple stacks, like compare, like do increase exposure and decrease gain, and compare the results. And it was a real nightmare to find Neptune. It's this one, I believe. The small smudge here. Um, uh, I cannot tell you how stressful that was to find it. Because at this focal length, to play itself is a real nightmare. Yes, this one. Whoa. <laughs> what a nightmare. Only to find that small smudge. I'm gonna try putting the two times barlow in and see what I get. I'm gonna center it. The, man, the, G, the GTI is not tracking well tonight. It's I think the balance is off because I didn't check the balance. It's my fault. It's tracking erratically. I'm gonna install the bar low now, and if I must, I will get the three times. Okay, where did Neptune go? I just lost Neptune. Yeah, it's here. Man, it's so faint. This is a four second exposure. You can see how faint it is. I tried it last year, but it wasn't. It was easier than this. But yeah, I know it's gonna, not gonna be that nice. It's always Neptune is too too far away, to be honest, for my telescope. It really, you, you really need a good telescope for this one, a big one, not like the one I have. But yeah, no, no harm in trying, you know. I'm gonna... You can see it's not tracking well tonight. It's jumping around. Have the balance off, I think. I'm gonna focus. And this is really hard to, to 
to focus because I can I it can only see a small smudge. Right after man is struggling. <laughs> I found Neptune and I realized the goal the the tracking is not great, but I'm gonna do it. The stack anyway. And we'll see what I get. I realize it's not gonna be great because Neptune is very, very far away. And for my telescope especially. It's, uh, it's a chore. That is Neptune. The resolution is pretty terrible, <laughs> to be honest. But yeah, you, you, you realize how much, how far away is Neptune. Neptune is like 5 billion kilometers away, or 4.5, which is crazy. Crazy difficult for a telescope like mine. You need a big, big Dobsonium for this, or Cassegrain. Right? Definitely. It's too far away to get a good image with a small telescope. But you know, the important thing is that you're happy with your image. It doesn't... And this is a moon of Neptune, I believe. I can see a dot here. <clears throat> and the collimation is perfect, and yet I'm getting like a triangle here. And I check the collimation, it's perfect. So, I don't know what's the issue. This is the best I can get. I'm not gonna stop the stack because it's not getting any better. This is the best I can do. Um, and yeah, this is the live view of Neptune. Just can't see any details, obviously. So uh, that's it for tonight. If you like the video, press thumbs up. I appreciate all the. Uh, support I can get from you and clear skies.